Are you looking for Alyssa? She just went over there. She said she was looking for somebody. Alyssa? She just said she was looking for something. Alyssa? That's not, that's not Alyssa. I know that. Yeah. Why did you come here? Why did you come here, Semranji? Why is uh What? Can you get your hand off me? So why don't you tell me why? Why don't you tell me why, bud? Okay, I'm gonna arrest you in a second. I already got your face. I'm gonna have the police come to you. You fucking understand? This is a fucking crime! You think I'm gonna give up? I'm going to the police, you fuckhead! over into the customs. Go back that way! Do you want me to call the police? Do you want me to call the police? Sit the fuck down now! I will arrest you! He could have gone. There's a trespasser over here. There's a trespasser over here. I don't know where he went. No. Jeet, the police are going to come to you and arrest you tonight if you don't fucking get the fuck over here. I'm going to report to you. I'm going to report the police to you. Yeah. Guess I wasn't looking, I wasn't looking for sex for you, goddamn. I just, I thought it's a case. But anyway, I'm going to go to the police that you pranked with me. Cut. And you may read we, yeah, we, 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 can, yeah. we can call the police together if you want. Yeah. Hold on. I'll, I'll, call, I'll put the police on the line, okay? Okay. Hey, fuck it. Fucking goof. Hey there, we've sent your call to our voice message system. The Manji thing. Isn't available right now. When you hear the beep, record your message. See, this is what I don't understand about people like this. They yell and they scream and they curse, but 
at the same time, they want to be examples to the children out here. The children that may or may not look up to them. But to me, it's a show. It's just a big act. I need to curse. I need to say this certain thing. I need to threaten. I need to act as tough as I can act just so the audience will be interested enough to come back to another video. My videos need to be interesting enough for people to, to view, to want to view them, to want to pay any attention to them. So I have to go past the threshold between, am I really doing this for the kids or am I really doing this for myself? Anytime you start involving money, it starts leaning more toward the self. I don't care what you say. You can run to the comment section right now and try to prove otherwise, but you can't. You're going to make a complete fool idiot out of yourselves. I'm tired of hearing the, uh, the cost that they incur when they uh, perform these little operations and the gas that they have to put in their tank to drive to a certain location that they uh, uh, choose to meet the predators at. And then everything else that would be a part of the cost. But let's go back to these same people like CHTV swearing up and down and listen, it's about the children. It's about catching the predators and uh, making sure that they don't actually meet these children. If it's about that, then why involve money in it in the first place? If you are so dedicated, you can use your own money. But then let's go back to this. I mean, how much money is being spent on something like this in the first place? Everything that he uses is free, even down to the fucking software, which are just apps on a fucking uh, iPhone or iPad for his video uh, uh, material. Free of charge. He won't even buy the full fucking app program because he's so damn cheap. But yet he'll beg you for money. He wants you to believe that you know, it really costs a lot of money to meet each of these uh, would-be predators. And, you know, I'm doing a good thing here. So you need to not look into the real cost of this. Not look into whether or not I'm lying or not. You just give me the money based upon what I say that I'm doing. And what I say that I believe in and what I don't believe in. Listen, when are you going to... When are you going to wake up to the fact that these people, they're entertaining you and they use serious situations to do so? This is how they draw you in. Oh, you know what? I admire this person for trying to catch these accused predators. But at the same time, none of them go to jail. Now, I've seen on some outfits that's similar to CHTV. I noticed that some of these people actually do get charged. So let me clarify that. I'm not saying that none of them on any outfit on YouTube ever get charged. But considering CHTV, they don't get charged. Because he would rather film them and have something to show his audience then not to film it because it's against the law and it would interrupt things when you are really trying to charge these people. Because the first, listen, if he would have contacted the police each and every time he would meet one of these predators, they would tell him, the first thing they would tell him, do not record. And that's for a reason. They're not just saying that because they don't want you to record. They're saying that for a reason. And do I have to mention what that reason is? It goes against what they could charge these people with. And if whether or not the charges would actually stick. So he would rather, you know what, I'm not going to involve police. Instead, 
I'll claim that I have the power to arrest them just to stop them so that they will talk to me so I have enough footage to show my audience so that I can get paid. AdSense and begging for money. AdSense and begging for money. AdSense and begging for money. When are you going to start noticing that these people are just entertaining you just enough to get the AdSense money and get donations from you? That's what they want. This is what all this is all about. If it isn't proved to me otherwise, unmonetize your videos and stop begging for money and keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. As a matter of fact, why don't you do it right? Each time that you set one of these would-be predators up, the accused up, contact the police so that some charges can stick against them. This is the only way that they won't do it again. You let them go. I, listen, nine times out of ten, they're going to do it again. But this time, they're going to know what to watch out for. They're going to be just a little bit more careful this time. And then they actually will meet up with a 13-year-old or a 14-year-old or a 12-year-old. And it could be some of your children out there that's listening right now. And what about the pictures that he's actually showing that he claims to be real? If they are real, I'm telling you, you are going to be responsible for the deaths and the danger of each and every photo, each and every person that you are baiting these people with. Because when they actually run into these people, because listen, don't think that they don't copy the picture. That's the first thing that they do. That's the first thing that they do. So you can take it down thinking, okay, all is well. All isn't well. They have it copied. Now it's all over the internet. When they actually do run into this 12-year-old girl, a 13-year-old girl, or 14-year-old girl, guess what? They're going to retaliate against them off the anger of what you tried to do to them. Then you're going to find yourself <laughs> being sued by parents. And not only just being sued, man, but having to wear the guilt of your selfishness and how you put these uh, little girls and little boys in danger because you wanted an audience, because you wanted to earn some money off AdSense, because you wanted to get some donation money. It's a thin line between passionate and just doing it for the money. They will do anything and everything to have you give them donations. They will do anything and everything to, to have an audience that's large enough to earn a significant amount of money through AdSense. See, this is, you know, when AdSense was discovered, I really think that it changed everything about YouTube. Because I consider YouTube as having two sides. The entertainment side that doesn't deal with any kind of serious situations whatsoever. They won't lie to people. Their channels are just strictly set up to, to, to entertain. They don't talk about anything serious. They probably never will talk about anything serious. As a matter of fact, they even uh, file their channel their videos and their channels up under the correct category, comedy, comedy. But I noticed that these people that deal with serious situations, <laughs> they also try to file their uh, videos up under the same category as comedy. Listen, you're talking about serious situations. How is that comedy? How is that entertainment? But see, this is a, a sure indication that these people are playing games. And they're trying to pull a fast one on you as well as YouTube. Because they don't want their channels terminated because they're earning so much money. Notice how these people uh, start to react when their channels start to come down. Notice how they react. I mean, they really go ballistic. They really get angry. And my thing is, listen, they haven't stopped you from doing what you're doing. Because you can... Pay for a website. You can build a website and keep continue doing the same thing. 
As a matter of fact, I don't know why they don't. You claim that it's all about what you're doing. Okay, why do you need YouTube? Why do you need YouTube in the first place then? If you are so passionate about this and you're so passionate about that, why do you need YouTube? If you don't want any interruptions or have to worry about your channel being terminated or people reporting you, then wouldn't it be wise to just obtain your own website? And don't even utilize YouTube, period, but they use YouTube for one reason. Or should I say two? Number one is, of course, the money. But number two, which should be number one, is to access the large quantity of people. Notice, they don't bother with websites. Why? Because they have tried it in the past and it doesn't work out for them. People don't even pay any, any attention to these websites. YouTube is where it's at because there's so many different channels and so many different videos all in one platform. They don't need to go anywhere else. So imagine them coming off YouTube, going to a website, that its only content is something like CHTV. They're going to get pretty bored with it after a while. Next thing you know, they'll stop coming to their website altogether. And they realize this. They really, listen, they have realized this since day one. They copy off of each other. Once they discovered that they could make money off AdSense, they knew exactly what they needed to do. And what that was, was... Number one, I need to uh, gain an audience base. So I have to interest them enough to want to come to my videos every day or at least subscribe and watch a great number of them. So I'm going to have to give them some sort of entertainment. Yes, this is a serious situation, but I'm going to turn it into a comedic situation because I need to because this is where the people will come from. If it's just all about seriousness, the people, they're going to get bored off this after a while. You know, I would have a certain amount that would be dedicated to this. But the real audience that I need, they would be unconcerned with me not bringing them entertainment. Listen and listen to me good. People like this, they hate me because I bust them out. I bring the real truth to the table and they never look at channels like this the same once you gain the knowledge of the truth about these channels they will never look at these channels the same if they do return to channels like this they know exactly what to look for all the indications of you know what this nigga is a fraud this ignorant person is a fraud and I'm no longer going to give my time to watch his content. I'm no longer going to give him donations, helping him to not have to have a legitimate job. This is no legitimate job. This is pocket change. This is something that you do part-time on the side. But people like this have tried to turn this into a full-time gig. I'm telling you. When it's all said and done, what you gonna do then? You're gonna curse YouTube out. You're gonna curse Google AdSense out and say, oh, how dare you take away my livelihood? They never told you that this was going to be permanent. They never uh, uh, signed any contracts with you saying that uh, you, know, you can do this for so many years and earn so much money. They can pull the plug tomorrow. Are you prepared for that? You're not prepared for it. What's on your mind now is, well, if that happens, I'll just beg the people to death. When AdSense took that first hit, and it was a hell of a hit, people did just that. They started begging their audience for the money that AdSense would have given them if it had not taken that hit, which I knew that they were going to do that. I warned people about that way before it actually happened. I mean, they were some begging begging bums. And they show no shame. They show uh, no kind of remorse for lying to these people. For, for, for really, you know, I can't get over a person like this would set up 
an accused predator. But you are actually setting up your audience into believing that you really care about this. If you do, then do it without the money. Let all the costs come out of your pocket, okay? And keep doing all the videos that you do. Keep setting up all the predators like you do without the audience money and without AdSense money. And let's see how dedicated you are then. I can guarantee you, your first lie that comes out of your mouth would be, well, I can't continue doing this without the money because it costs me so much and you know how it is. And yeah, it costs you so much. What does it cost you to uh, log on to YouTube's platform and upload how many videos you want on how many channels that you own. They don't charge you anything. So the charge, the only charge that you would incur is uh, the uh, Wi-Fi connection. And you really expect people to pay for your Wi-Fi connection? All because you're doing something serious, right? All because you claim to be dedicated to what this serious topic is really all about. It's really all about actually having charges stick on these predators so that they know next time, you know what? If you do this again, the same thing going to happen. We're going to slap 10 years on your ass. And this time, it may even be more than 10 years. It might be 20 years. Are you willing to take that chance? And maybe they'll think about it the next time that they come across some fucking uh, ad for a 13-year-old. But when you let them go like that, when you don't contact the police and actually have charges brought against them, they live to fight another day. And I know for a fact, past people that he set up, they're gunning for you right now. They're actually setting up fake accounts trying to trap you now. I'm giving you this warning because you never thought that this could actually happen. It never even crossed your mind that they would be setting up fake accounts acting like they are falling for the setup once again because they want to meet up with you once again. But this time, the outcome is going to be different. You know it now. But before I mention anything, you never really gave it a thought. You think these people are so fucking scared and so much of a weakling that they would never want to meet up with you again. You have to understand, several of these people that you have already trapped off, their pictures are all over the internet, all on YouTube, videos, video footage of them 